My name is Mark. Welcome to my home. Today we're doing another tab upgrade. Uh, not upgrading our toilet paper, but upgrading our toilet paper holder. Um, I like the indoor uh, bathroom in the tab. I like the shower, but they're kind of mutually incompatible when you want to have toilet paper in there and you also want to have water. So my wife and I, we have been trying all kinds of stuff. I'll back this up a little bit. We ran with this for a while. These are rubber gasket seals and basically you put your toilet paper in the bottom of that and you close it up and you put it on the floor. There are two things that a tab shower doesn't have. It doesn't have headroom and it doesn't have foot room. You know that if you got anything along the floor, um, it sucks. It's always in the way. There's not much space to move around in there. So, like everyone eventually does, I want to put in a toilet paper dispenser. Now, I'll, the toilet paper dispenser that's going to go in a tab has to be waterproof to start with. And one of the problems you've got is if this is your wall, a lot of people are just screwing on these waterproof toilet paper holders, right? You've seen these guys, um, they have a little lid that lifts up and the toilet paper roll goes in there. The problem is, is that they stick out from the wall about five and a half to six inches. Well, there's not enough room in that shower for me to have anything sticking out into the shower that far. So I searched and I searched and I searched and I found this guy. Um, looks like a normal um, surface mount and you can. It's made by Dometic. It's called a dry roll. Um, very thick, very stout. Um, it's got some features here that are that I really like a lot. Number one, it's got a rubber seal around the entire perimeter. And the top one, when you roll this up, let's say you took a shower and this is wet. When you roll this up, that top one actually acts like a squeegee. And this guy, see how that's shaped like that? The water runs off. I mean, I have taken this guy outside with, with um, toilet paper in it and hit it with a sprinkler sprayed it all around and that paper stayed absolutely dry this guy closes just nice I mean it seals seals almost airtight really cool the next feature that I like about it is that it's not just a surface mount it's got this bezel that that actually allows it to mount in the wall well we know that our walls in our tab trailers are not that thick. They are, let's draw one of the walls. They are, if this is the, the this is the bath, all right? Let me zoom down here a little bit, get in there a little bit closer. There we go. If this is the bath, this is the first sheet of, um, paneling. Then there's an air gap, a space in here, and another piece of panel. 
Well, the distance between the surface of this paneling and the surface of the back paneling that's inside the wall is 2.75 inches. Guess what? With this guy on here, with this guy, basically this fits down in there and will snap in place, right? This toilet paper roll is 2.85 inches deep. So this guy, this guy, when he's sitting in the wall, back up, I go back and forth here. This guy, when he's sitting in the wall, this distance from the face of the, the toilet paper to here is only a tenth of an inch. The wall is only a tenth of an inch too shallow. Very, very close to what I need. And in fact, if you measure the distance from the outside of this paneling to the outside of this paneling, it's almost exactly, it's 2.90 inches. Um, that's perfect for this guy. So <clears throat> what I'm going to do is I'm going to mount this uh, when you're sitting on the toilet to your left hand side um, right there. It's a good space for it. Mount it right there. And what's on the other side of that is the kitchen cabinet. So when this, how this is going to work is I'm going to, here's, here's the left hand wall. I'm going to mount this toilet paper holder like this. It's going to recess in the wall on the other side, but be exactly flush. This is the cabinet, the kitchen cabinet. And this is the bath. It will be exactly flush with that. Now you'll see it, right? But it won't stick out any farther than the surface of that. So it'll be flush. Now, there's all kind of, we talked about this guy being waterproof and stuff. There's some really, really cool stuff going on in this guy. Here's the center roller for the toilet paper. And it's got gears on it. Well, what's up with that? Well, if you look in there, there's also gears. When I drop this toilet paper roll in there, watch this. Look at that. As I close that lid, that toilet paper roll rewinds. So, I'll show you how this works in actuality. One of the problems with a toilet paper roll with a roll is that if I close this lid and that's hanging out, right? And that toilet paper's hanging out, water will get on that toilet paper and wick its way in. But watch this. You see that? Watch that. This guy automatically winds up that toilet paper so you can't. <laughs> and also when you're, when you open it, it feeds it out. And that's just, I'm an engineer and I'm easily amused and I'm amused at that. I, I think that's great. That's just, that's just awesome. That just winds up and seals. So what we're going to do, how this guy comes, he comes with this in the center. It comes with a pencil. He comes with all of the um, patterns you need for um, putting it, putting it on the wall. Comes with a great set of instructions of if you want to put uh, recess it in the wall or if you want it to stand off. So this is the upgrade um, that we're going to do. Um, in the next video, I'm going to show where I'm going to mount it. Um, and we're going to go ahead and cut holes in my trailer <laughs> and mount this. Um, very, very nice unit. Um, like I said, I couldn't get I was spraying this with a garden hose and I couldn't get water to go in there. So it's going to be nice. It'll be instead of your typical surface mount, your typical surface mount, if we look, that's almost six inches tall. That sticks out from the wall almost six inches. But using this bezel and resetting it, it's only going to stick out two and a half inches. Right? 
are actually just two and a quarter. There's a big difference between something sticking out into that shower two and a quarter inches as opposed to six. That's a big difference. This is going to be way back out of the way. So um, we're going to go at it. Um, see you in the next video. Stay tuned. Drive safe.